Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church of Loudoun County. I take time every week and I share in my time in the Word in the hopes to be an encouragement to you in your walk with Christ. This time is meant to be something that you share, that you encourage others with. And so I pray that this is an encouragement to you to go and share the hope that's been given to you by the person of Jesus. It's a very common realization from people and that is that the world as we see it seems to be insane um people making decisions that doesn't make any sense um things that really bother us at our core and we don't understand why or how people could make the decisions that they make interestingly enough uh, that is regardless of what perspective you look at this world through That as we look at one another, we find ourselves wrestling with that question. This is what Jesus says in the Gospel of John chapter 10. It says, Truly I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold, but climbs in another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice. He calls his sheep by name, leads them out. When he has brought out all of his own, he goes before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him for they do not know the voice of strangers. This figure of speech Jesus used with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. It's an interesting thing about sheep. Um, Many people don't realize this, that sheep have to be let out of the pen or the holding structure that they're in as soon as the day starts. And the reason being that if a sheep is pinned and is not let out, it will hurt itself and seemingly go mad trying to find a way out. So the first duty of the shepherd is to go and let the sheep out into free pasture to be able to go and graze and roam and not feel trapped. They start to seemingly short circuit when they're stuck inside of a pen. And so now when we look at mankind And whether that is from this perspective of the world or from that perspective of the world does not matter because the way that we go about making decisions when we are not listening to the shepherd's voice, when we are not let out of the pen by the shepherd is insane. The decisions that we make, the reasons that we make them, the ways that we feel, the reasons that we feel that way, what we will do to ourselves, what we will do to others, none of those things make any sense. When we look at it, when we look back at our life and we look in the rear view at the decisions that we've made, I think all of us can look at that and wonder what we were thinking. Why did we do that? Why did we say that? And the reality is when we are not being led by the shepherd, when we're not listening to his voice, when we're depending on what's inside of our own mind to make our decisions, we do things that are insane. Beautifully, the gospel writers regularly remind us that the disciples were confused by this. They didn't understand what he was teaching. And I think that many of us, when we hear even the ways that I've put it in layman's terms, can be confused as to how that could work or how that could be possible. The reality is that if we keep our eyes fixed on the person of Jesus, if we keep our eyes on the shepherd and we listen for his voice, we pay attention to his word, we surround ourselves with his flock, there is a gate that opens for us. Jesus says, I came to give life the full, that we might live, that we might live in peace, not in the ways that the world gives, but in a unique and divine and beautiful way that each of us deserves that God is trying to give to us. And so today, what I want you to hear is that if you're not listening to the shepherd's voice, start. If you're not in the flock, start. 
if you're not trying to listen to him or pay attention to when he opens the gate or if he's coming or if he's going, start. Because without him and without his opening and closing of the gate, we, we will drive ourselves insane. And what we decide to do or don't decide to do will inevitably hurt us because we're not listening to and we're not paying attention to our shepherd. I'm going to pray that over you. And I pray that the rest of your day is blessed. Father, thank you. Thank you for what we claim in your name. Thank you for the love and the compassion that you show to us every single day in the ways that we could never know. Father, I pray that we pay attention to the ways that you are opening the gate before us, that we might be free in your name, for your glory, in your namesake. It's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen.